Okay, hopefully it's working now. It is December 26th as we're recording this. We're recording this for the channel's one year anniversary. We're doing the Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Now, some people would say this is Mega Man 1 to 8, but I uh, I think of this as it's uh, a separate Mega Man game. So I don't think of it as 1 to 8 because one it's not even the original versions, it's the PS1 versions. Um, anyway, we're gonna do all of this because we started the channel with Mega Man with Mega Man 1 to 6 on the first day. But uh, we're gonna do some stuff different, so it's not gonna be exactly the same. What's video options? Okay. Okay, so it's gonna be a bit different, okay, Magnus? Okay. So it's not actually also the PS1 games because the PS1 games have their own menus and databases and stuff. Okay, here we go. So Navi mode on, normal, yes. Start and lies five. What's Navi mode? I thought it had something to do with Mega Man Battle Network. You know they're called NetNavis. Okay, you'll see. So hopefully the video doesn't cut out. So we're gonna do all ten games on this. So we're gonna start one at a time. Okay, good. Uh, it didn't freeze the capture. Cause it's very sensitive when it comes to the PS2. If it was gonna be sensitive, I was gonna change it to the um, the PS3, the place PS2 games. Alright, so this is Mega Man, as you can see, makes this 2004. Because this game came out in 2004, if you see the completionist video he did, he did on the Xbox version, his are, um, says 2005, because it came out, that one came out a year later. So, happy anniversary to Never Any Fun. Happy anniversary. Okay, no one's gonna hear you, Mings. Alright, let's get the show on the road. Sound different? Yeah. And the, the, the icon is different. Oh. Good start already. Well, three minutes into the game and you only died. Eh, yeah, not really three minutes. It doesn't matter. So now, when you see that warning thing in the bottom corner, it'll come up with this thing. Watch out for the left. Ah, uh, it gives you hints on the game. In later games, it will. Uh, it'll actually right here where it says Mega Man. It will show a map of the the layout of the of the level. So there's actually, uh, for Mega Man 1 to 7, there's an easy mode, and on the easy mode, there's less of those, of those, uh, gaps. And, uh, there'll be, like, less enemies in some areas, so it's not exactly, like, normal on, um, on Mega Man 2, but, like, I don't think uh, it does the same, like, Weapon, uh, like HP dip, uh, damage. Yeah, so if you remember from the completionist, you get this just like in the Legacy Collection. If you hold triangle, you can shoot really fast. That's also in the PS1 versions. Oh, didn't make it. Can you hear the song, though, Magnus? Does this sound like uh, it normally does? No. It's a techno remix. The songs have been remixed. 
Eat your nuggets. Yeah, you eat quite a bit. An enormous power comes from the shutter. Are you ready? about Gus Vance, you have to jump like right, right before he hits it, uh, hits the ground. But uh, it's okay, I have five lives, so it doesn't matter. Because uh, the PS2, just playing it on, uh, because it's different, the colors and everything gives me a different feel, so it doesn't feel the same than playing on the NES. Uh, so it, it, it just, it does, it feels a bit different, but also, because this game is uh, the PS1 versions, uh, the games were able to read better, and there's not the lag like in the like on the NES or the the Wii or Wii U, Wii U virtual or DS uh, virtual console. Wait, are we gonna do number two tomorrow? We could do it today or tomorrow, but we'll probably do it tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do it tomorrow. So that was a bad idea last time. We learned our lesson. Yeah, we weren't so tired, we couldn't even, we couldn't even focus on the game. Yeah. Uh, lots of talk, so we're gonna do the whole game, as you'll see from the length of the video. Unless there's any problems. Oh, she turned the autosave off. So, in this version, it's still safe for you, instead of a password. You can still use the password, so... If you load your game, it'll go to where the game has autosaved it. So Gutsman will be done. Um, if you go to a new game, you can put in the passwords and get to where you want, but this one doesn't have passwords. See, this opening right here reminds me of the theme song I had. Yeah, now it's different. Now I go to Gutsman first yeah. and then cut man speedrunners go to lack man right away lack man's act really hard because he can take you out with just three hits when did he get uh I, my cousin our cousin Jordan and alex had it when i was two and I played it a bit, but they gave it to us uh, when I was three. We went to Mega Man 4 when I was three. But the thing is, um, because you can easily look up, I'll show you, because uh, we've actually ordered, um, my dad bought me Mega Man 1 to 6 on NES off eBay. It's quite a lot of money, and it's, I, I really actually, I actually made me feel really bad about that. Because I really don't deserve that, and it's actually gave me a lot of anxiety, making me feel awful. Yeah, it was my Christmas present. It was. God, it was. Anyway. No, because I don't deserve it. What you did? What? Yeah. Thanks. Come closer, but no one's gonna hear you from there. Okay. But everyone wants to hear you. Remember those awful commentary I made? Yeah. It's a hand booty. Thanks, Madness. Um, I was talking about two things and I want to talk about another thing and I forget them all already. Anyway, um... I guess I wanted all oh, to start by this game when I got it, so that I got this when it came out. I was like, oh my god, a Mega Man Anniversary Collection. So, okay, yeah, I was talking about how I played Mega Man 4, I re rented 4 when I got it. Uh, when I was a kid, I didn't have 4. The only evident, uh, okay, so, one thing is, when people I watch on YouTube are like, people say, like, well, when I was a kid, I played that. They're talking about, like, some. most of the time they're talking about when they were 12 or something, so like, your age, Magnus? Um, when I was a kid, 
Well, when I was born, we had an NES and a game, and we had a Game Boy when I was one. So when I was like a an infant, uh, a toddler, there was video games. I played Mario, Mega Man. But anyway, so I played Mega Man three. My cousin showed us how to beat it. Um, we rented four, and I remember the cover of four being the sticker being yellow, and it had M Mega Man and Rush from the animated series on it. That was my memory of it. Or from when I was a kid until I saw what the cover actually looked like uh, later on in life. See, so also they changed uh, the pause menu. Oh yeah, I don't need to pause. So with Mega Man 7 and Mega Man X on the Super Nintendo, with you get the uh, shoulder buttons, I can actually just change my weapon like that. Okay. I'm gonna save. Uh, uh, I still, I still have to say my things. Oh. Well, so what did you want to say? Well, we got the Christmas. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll have lots of time to talk about this, it's, it's gonna be a long video. Okay, um... So, when I got the Anniversary Collection, the only Mega Man games I had played was... 3, 4, and 2. Uh, not exactly, just for the classics. Like, we, I had, we, we had Legends to, uh, very early on. Yeah, I've been playing this all year, but, like, because I'm talking about stuff, I'm, like, completely forgetting all the tricks of this game. There's this trick you can do on this game I learned by watching uh, speedruns on uh, AGDQ or SGDQ. Uh, if you press select on Mega Man 1, it will freeze the game. It's like a secondary pause. And you can do extra damage to... Uh, I wasn't looking at the screen. You can do extra damage to, um, to bosses. It, it's really helpful. No, you should go the other way. I don't know why B told me to go this way. See, this game's like hard. It's really hard to dodge those enemies because you have to be precisely. Or, um... What do birds do? What that item? Yeah. It's the magnet beam. Oh. See, um, speedrunners use that to glitch the game. And, uh, they're able to get through there, because the only two weapons that'll break those blocks are Gutsman's weapon and Electman's weapon. So what I used to do, because I needed the, that beam to get through Gutsman's starting point, so it's pretty hard. Now I can do it, so I do it first. So I do his all first, so when I get to, then I go to Cutman to get Electman's weakness, because Electman will kill you really fast. I saw, I, um, I, I thought there for sure there was no way to beat him without getting hit, so I actually, I like figuring it out on my own, but him actually looked it up, and, uh, it's pretty precise. I'm not gonna say for those who don't want to hear it, maybe, like, there are other people that also don't want to figure it out on their own. Okay, so what I did, though, I don't understand it at all, I didn't do it on purpose, it happened by accident, but... Somehow, with uh, the ladders, you can glitch yourself to the next screen. Wait, look at the time. Time? What time? On the video? Yeah. What, what about it? What? We're like, we were, we were at the bots, and it's only 14 minutes. Wait, can I talk about what we got? I didn't even get to finish my thing about the Mega Man Anniversary Collection. I'm not mad. Anyway, uh, I don't understand it, but it's, it's a speedrun thing I saw. Otherwise, I would have thought the game was broken, but anyway. No, but I've been playing... Because, you know, I did horrible at the Mega Man X, X2 and X3. Because I only played X2 and X3 
Well, actually all of those ones. I only played them on the X Collection in 2006 and 7. So I don't really play- uh, I didn't know them a lot. But I got them on the Super Nintendo. I got the Japanese versions. And, um, anyway, yeah, you can always re-get that thing. Anyway, uh, I've been playing all the Classic and X games a lot this year. And, uh, just to get better at them. So this is supposed to go a bit faster, but I'm gonna get hit. But for some reason, I still did it. Okay, anyway. Mega Man 1 is the hardest one for me, even though it's like the shortest of them all. Uh, it's, what I mean is like, uh, I'll get through the other ones faster. Cause... Oh yeah, also you can just press circle. Oh wait, you can't slide in this one, but you can press just circle to slide now. Um, okay. But all I wanted to say about, um, I didn't get to play that, uh, when I got the anniversary collection, I was like, finally I can find out what the other Mega Man games are like and see who's a new, because I had no idea who was, I, did, I had no idea Mega Man 1 only had 6 bosses, so I was trying to think, uh, I thought Proto Man was in this one and I couldn't think of who the other guy would be. And I guess that's all I wanted to say. Go on, go on Megas. I... Okay. Just remember to talk and speak loudly. Okay, what I got for Christmas, one of them were five Amiibos. Marco got me the... Um, I got you all of them, actually. Yeah, but... I didn't, I just, there was two of them I didn't pay for. I got the me pack, Dark Pit, and Falco. Anyway, I got some shirts, some... Some shirts, and also, I also got. Well, I'm trying to think. It's a few. Uh, it's well, a book, and let's see. Four games, I think. Yeah, four, four games. One of them was the new Mario Tennis game. I got Triforce Heroes, Animal Crossing, New Leaf, and Animal Crossing. Oh, Happy Home Design. Happy home designer. So this is the level I hate the most in all Mega Man games. Oh yeah, I also got a Lego set. It was at Star Wars General Grievous bike. And I was waiting for that forever and it's totally worth it. Why do you hate it so much? Uh yeah. it's really hard and unfair. The penguins? No. Penguins are easy. Even without this attack, I just, uh... Usually I like playing Mega Man games and trying to not get hit or trying to dodge as much as I can with my own power. But you guys already seen me do that even though i gotten better. I'm always gonna keep getting better. I want to sh um... I don't want to show like, oh hey, I am this much better now. I want to show that on the channel. That was, that's not the point of the channel. The channel was uh, to show my skill at, at the games. As I started uh, the channel, uh, posting videos. If I want to show off my, uh, like my how good I've gone later, I'll probably just uh, stream. Okay, so it's these guys here. They're not on a set route. They're completely random. So it, you could be on a, uh, on them, and like they won't let you get to the next one. I could use that help. So if you're not using the Bangta Beam in this level, Mangs, it is pure hell. It is so freaking hard. Alright, so again, uh, I said before, and I've actually commented in some videos, well, just one video, how, um, okay, so you know Starbomb, Magnus? Yeah. In Starbomb, the thing is, because I thought Aaron wrote some of the songs, but it was mostly Danny who wrote the lyrics. 
He said that fire, uh, Iceman's uh, weakness is fire. I didn't need to press select so many times. See how much damage that takes? Iceman can take you on three hits, so he's really hard. Yeah, no, his elect his weakness is electricity. But the way the song goes is that first I'll take out Fireman, or oh, your weakness is ice. And then um things like next is Iceman. Is your weakness fire? So one, I commented on the um I comment not uh they didn't have a video for that song. But they had like a um a star bomb countdown videos like oh the album's coming out soon and i commented how it made no sense that why would you how would you start off with one guy's weakness and go to the next with his weapon already Level and beat it. Yeah, you did pretty good at it. Yay. So yeah, if you press the light wings, you freeze the game, and as if the animation, if uh, okay, so so this light beam, if I freeze, and you see how the beam's still there? Yeah. Say the beam's still on the boss. The boss uh hit hit uh. I'm gonna say hitness because the word is escape, the terms escape in me, but uh, it'll re hit him because uh, his like his hitbox is refreshed. So this weapon, uh, elect, uh, what's it called? Dry beam, thunder beam. I never learned the what the names to these things to like Mega Man to like I only remember like Mega Man three and three and two. Anyway. Um, it takes him out in three hits, but because the beam's so long, if you press select, you could take him out with just uh, shooting one of them at him. It makes this game so much easier. Especially for the last, uh, because in the last level, you have to fight four bosses in a row with no health up, with no health. Your tanks were invented in number two. Did I ask this before? That question just now? Yeah. Probably. Not during last time we played, but um, I may have just said it in the first when we played it the first time. So yeah, number two started uh, E tanks passwords, and like this one had the magna beam, but the next one had like three different uh, weapons for you to use. Okay, so Fireman's pretty hard. Almost. Well, as long as I've had, because uh, as long as I've had his we I have his weakness, uh, he's not a problem. I got four points to point savers. Today, yeah. It's really difficult to get out. Uh, anyway, for Christmas, I got, um, I just got Blu-rays I asked for. I got the four Lee Boys movies. I have them on, we have them on DVD, but I want them on Blu-ray. Um, just, you know, to upgrade. And, uh, Bone Cop, Bad Cop, which is one of my, like, probably top three favorite movies. Probably not my number one favorite movie. And I got One Piece Collection 14. The one with Brooke on the cover, so it has part one of a uh, Thriller Bark. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna start buying the, buying the DVDs again. I stopped after season five. 
because the one, the, uh, well, it took forever for the DVD set uh, for season six to come out. But um, I just don't have money or space for the cases, so I did get the collections. No, you got to bomb, man. I don't remember, but we can check the footage later. I think you- no, you beat him. Yeah. I always wanted to call him Bazooka Joe, but that's something else. Bazooka Joe is a small comic you get with- Bubble with that, bubble up, super chill bubble gum. This one, uh, if you, even if you're taking damage, the spikes are gonna kill you instantly. Sorry to play this one. I have to, uh, one I have to talk. Um, yeah, I pretty much just got that. That's all I really asked for, and you know the Mega Man games. Um, okay, so it, it's not exactly, it's not our one-year anniversary yet, but um, it's the one-year anniversary since I got my recording equipment. So I've been wanting to do a, uh, some kind of YouTube channel thing since um, 2000, uh, 2012. But uh, anyway, um, So, uh, it's kind of a big deal for me, because it was like a, a new part of a chapter in my life. Oh yeah, another thing they changed in, in number two was the health and, uh, weapon energy items. So they, they continued uh, with that form later on. The the shininess or flash on them is different that, uh, in Mega Man 3 and, uh, and onward. Um, because we recorded the Mega Man games in an earlier session and then re just I released 1 to 5 uh, all at once. On the... Oh yeah, I want to talk about the My Mega Man collection, so I want to get like every version of uh, the Mega Man game. So I, I I ordered and got uh, recently Mega Man Anniversary Collection for GameCube, and then I just have to get the Xbox version. So I also have to get the GameCube version of Mega Man X Collection, and um, uh, the GameCube version of uh, Mega Man X Command Mission. Which actually makes it, uh, another, what's the hard thing about it is that I also have to get the Sega Saturn versions of 
X3, X4, and Mega Man 8, and those are hundreds of dollars. And I really don't want to spend that much on uh, games I don't even have a system for. But like, I do want to collect them, so I'll get them someday. Oh yeah, it also shows, see how um, the number beside the power? It shows how many uh, shots you have left with it. Oh, if I remember that there's health there, I wouldn't bother with the other one. Fall down uh, all the way. I'm just gonna take damage from those guys. So I gotta, I, uh, I uh, press down to get back on the ladder. Okay, yeah, my uh, ex Mega Man collection. I'm all. I have actually. Yeah, I have every single game. But um, I need because I have Mega Man 64. But I need Mega Man Legends for. PlayStation, and my older brother is the owner of Mega Man Legends 2, so I'm gonna get my own copy of that. And he has he, he has the the X collection. I'm gonna get my own copy of that. My next purchase on eBay, which uh, it's really not the PS2 version is not expensive at all. So usually you can get up there with just three, but. This boss was like, I had such a hard time. This was the last game I beat on the anniversary collection. And I remember having such a hard time with this guy. So the select button works differently. Like it usually, it, uh, it freezes instantly and you can press it instant. Uh, just keep pressing, it's just way faster on the NES version. It's not going to work on this guy in this version. It's just that one difficult jump. If I could evade that, I can beat him. If 
I remember, let's remember. The point of you watching this is to remember the Mega Man games so that way you don't have to play them. Y you gotta encourage me, you gotta cheer me on. I'm gonna abuse this thing so much and then one day I won't be able to beat the game without using the select cheat. The thing is, you know, so you know in the Legacy Collection, there's, um, the challenges, Magnus? Yeah. The challenges, uh, the... So the select button on that actually opens up a new menu for you. So they replaced it with the L1 button. The, the, just for Mega Man 1, they gave that, they made that the select button. Because there are some challenges, you need to use that select sheet to get it. So the, the game, like, uh, expects you to know about it. So we use uh, Cutman's weakness, just two uh, blocks up front with the Gutsman's weapon. But he's not hard at all. So you beat him without getting hit. It's easier without those two blocks in the way. Yeah, um, so yeah, uh, lately, I got the anniversary collection for GameCube, because so I pretty much have all the games. The only thing I had left was Mega Man ZX Advent, which I got. I got it brand new. There's a lot of Mega Man ZX and ZX Advents that are just brand new on eBay. So I'm also going to get the first one again, because I wanted the case for it. And this time, I can get the case. I bought it off of Lucky Games, and they just had the game only. So I'll have two copies, and it doesn't matter, because you can, uh, Sync two ga uh, two copies together. That was close. See what I did though, Magnus? Yeah. Because I also have my fire shield. What I do is I jump away. So if he shoots, I jump over it. If he jumps towards me, he gets hit by the shield. So it saves. It kind of saves me. So get, you could get your hands off your pants on my bed, please. My chair broke down a while ago, so my bed's now my new chair, which is probably the best idea I've ever had. So this next box, there's a trick to it. But I don't want to take a lot of damage. But I'm I'm pretty much taking a lot of damage. But it doesn't matter. I'll probably just because I have so many lives, I'll probably just kill myself. 
Unless I get a lot of health from these guys here. There we go. Um, so yeah, the hardest game, the game I thought I would never get, because it was, okay, once these bomb guys show up, you start jumping over them, otherwise you're gonna get hit by the explosion, um, was Mega Man Star Force Black Ace. I thought I would never find it, because I only found two North American versions on eBay. One was brand new, so it was very expensive. So I want to take out just a couple of these guys. Take out another one. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna... I'll probably die. Yeah. I'll just kill myself when I do this boss. So what I do, what I used to do was throw the three, three blocks and keep the one in the center. Because that way I can jump on it and uh, otherwise you can't jump over the boss. But now what I do is I'll take out a few of them, then throw the blocks at them. Because uh, this thing will get really fast. Take out one more. That boss used to be really hard for me. Bang, it's right at the last level. We're only 40 minutes in. I told you this will be they'll be around 40 minutes. There's always tons of guts, man, throughout the series. This item here is a cat, I'm guessing from Capcom, because I've seen it in, in other games. But uh, in Mega Man, it refills all your your stuff. for those ball things to go. I want to uh, change my weapon right away for this fight. Even pause it yet. I 
There we go. Get a checkpoint here, so now it's Wily. I'm gonna die. There's no way I can beat him without getting hit, uh, without getting hit. I am gonna use the. Um... I am going to use the select pause, just because it makes this fight go faster. Like, I can beat him without it otherwise, but um, it, I just want to hurry up, so... This video will be just 50 minutes long. So the next video, because we're going to release Mega Man 1 to 5 on the same day again. And um, we'll continue on with 6, 7, and 8, just like we did with the other ones. See how fast that was? Never mind, it's actually gonna make it slower. And that's a super cloud man, look here, bitch! That's a star bomb lyric. I didn't even know what you said. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's make a man one. So I guess we don't need to show the end cuts of the cutscene. Let's just see my score. Yay. I guess I want to say this, but uh, when I play this on the uh, Legacy Collection for the achievement, I used res uh, restore points, so I got no game overs, and I finally got to uh, one million point or I got like digits on all those zeros so before we had uh, Mega Man Anniversary Collection there was a techno remix of this song and I remember listening to it while we were traveling in the car and uh, it just uh, did wonders for me like it was it was so memorable that night Anyway, that was Mega Man 1. Tomorrow we'll do Mega Man 2, but it'll be the same day for you guys. We're gonna go as fast as I can. We're gonna talk more about what's new and stuff. I guess I wanted to recap. I got Star Force 3 Black Ace. Got it. It wasn't brand new, but I got it in case, which is what I want. So I have all the Star Forces in, ca in box. It had a picture of the game, so I know which ones was in it. Um, I'm gonna get... Uh, ZX Advent is coming in the mail. I'm gonna get ZX again. Then I just gotta get uh, Legends 2 for myself, Legends 1, and Power, uh, the PSP, the two PSP ones. But I can easily just get them in a, in a dual pack that they made. But I, uh, cause my brother has them separately, so I get, I'll count that as them. Well, we got to the end anyway. See, I have all the Star Forces now, I have all the Zeros, all the Mega Man Classics. Actually, no, I need I need the American Super Nintendo ones, I only have X. I need X2, X3, and 7 in soccer, and those are expensive. Except for soccer, because I have them in Japanese. But anyway, uh, this should bring us to uh, the menu. It was a whole year since we've done this. Yeah, almost a year. We still got like two and a half weeks before we go. Let's see. Uh, I got the credits for this. Okay. How about we put the credits on when we beat all the games? Okay. I don't. Atomic Planet Entertainment credits. I guess that's who made this. So maybe. Uh, cause we're gonna do all ten games on here. So we're not just gonna do Mega Man One to Eight. As a secret, we'll do the two secret hidden games together. Okay, cause they're two player. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll see you guys next time.